Hi, welcome back to Raunchy Reality Recaps. Now in this video, we're going to uh, do a love after lockup update. Now I was on Instagram recently and I saw something from Cheryl from Love After Lockup. You remember Cheryl and Josh? Now, just before I get into the um, Instagram post, let me go over what I found. Now, apparently, well, well let's just get into it. Cheryl and Josh, you remember Josh being um, the dude that robbed a bank, wrote a book afterwards. Cheryl, like, dumped her kids off at her family members, went up to stay with him for a month. And then they, you know, I guess they stayed in their hotel room a little, little while. And then she had one of her, like, her daughter come up there. And her daughter was, like, two or three or something. She was, like, a little kid. Uh, and I think one of the fights you remember her daughter spilled something Josh's mom at Josh's mom house Josh's mom was trying to get the little girl to you know help pick it up but Cheryl got mad at her and said that I'll clean up my daughter's stuff or whatever it wasn't a girl it might have been a boy I don't know it was so long ago y'all but anywho they uh, they ended up breaking up so they didn't last they went all their separate ways and when I after I pulled up the little post she did on Instagram I was like okay well let me get some pictures from her you know because I need to get some pictures from a video so I look up on Google type in you know Cheryl love after lockup and apparently some more information come up which I did not even know so we're going to get in that first and then get into her Instagram post now apparently cheryl dated a guy after josh i don't know how many people other people she dated but there was one guy after josh that apparently i think they were only together according to the article like two weeks well she posted a video of the guy walking away from her house or whatever in the snow on the sidewalk and she was calling him all these names saying he's a liar he's a cheater um i think one thing i'll post a uh photo of a quote from her saying basically she paid he didn't have nothing when he came to her she paid for his food cigarettes all that stuff yeah so they ended up baking up i guess she posts this video and in a retaliation he posted some quiet a few things about her a couple of them were pictures of a dirty house that he alleged that her kids were living in and again all this is alleged i'm reading it from articles forming my own opinion whatever so he um apparently posted pictures i'll add those and well and one of the pictures is her sitting down next to a table i think it's her but um you could see like white substances and lines on the table which i mean i'm not gonna say it we all know what that is um and if you don't be like you don't <laughs> so yeah so all these and he also said that she, her child was sleeping on the floor with a sister and all this stuff like it was pretty bad and of course she denies it says that you know that was just a place of her friends that she was going to while they were breaking up so yeah and i'll link the articles as well with all the pictures videos and you can definitely take a look at that yourself for me own opinion but anywho so and i just like to say that if it's true if she was living like that in that house and she was dating this guy um first of all why are you sitting there letting a guy stay in your house overnight with your kids that you had just started dating i mean ladies can we please have a little bit of security for our children that they don't have to worry if they're going to get abused? I don't even know how to say it without YouTube. I hate YouTube sometimes. But getting harmed, I would say, in horrible ways by a man that you allowed in your house overnight while you slept. Like, can, can we not do that anymore? As women, can we not, if we need it that bad, get a babysitter and get a hotel room, okay? That makes me sick. That, I mean, the guy she only dated for two weeks and there's pictures of her in a bed with him. He's, uh, I'm, I'm just going to take it. He was staying at her house because that's what it looked like. I mean, if it wasn't, good for her that she's protecting her kids. But still, don't have your kids in a house with a man that you just started dating, just met, and letting them stay the night because you are asleep and you have no idea what those people are going to be doing to your children while they're asleep. Again, I got I got to say that for the rant because these women make me so mad on this show about that. So anywho, that number one. Number two, if you were living like that, 
and you're buying stuff for a man instead of buying stuff to take care of your kids and make a better home for them, there's a problem there. Okay. So anyways, let's get all off that. So the Instagram post that I want to talk about is her announcing apparently her new man. And guess what this new man um, picture is? It's a prison photo, y'all. It's a prison photo. So you mean to tell me this girl has not learned her lesson? And I'm pretty sure from one of her comments, she's like, well, we'll have to see, you know. Yeah, we have to see on Wee TV because you're signing up for another season. So is Cheryl going to be back, y'all? Who, who, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Or like or put a comment down below if you think that this is Cheryl's new way of getting back. Because I'm going to tell you right now, and I'll post, post a picture of the dude. He looks like Josh. Okay. I thought it was an old picture. Maybe they got back together for a second and I stared hard good. And I was like, okay, that's not Josh, but that's a Josh 2.0 right there. So yeah, I definitely think, I mean, girl, I don't know. You had so much like, I don't understand with these women. I don't y'all. I don't, but anywho, that's what I want to update on y'all. Let me know what you think below. Like, subscribe and share. Y'all have a great day. Bye.